So one of the downsides to Command right now is that when we do all of these Facebook um, marketing campaigns, we get all of these leads. If you're on a team, there's no real way to round robin or route those leads out in Command yet. Um, I have heard that come family reunion in you know less than a month, there will be an option for the team lead routing to work. Um, it's not working yet. So I'm just gonna share with you guys what workaround I've used um, and I'm currently using for our team. Um, so this is done in Zapier. Um, it's not free, it's $25 a month. However, it saves me a lot of time because I don't have to go in and manually figure out which leads need to be routed and who I'm gonna route them to. This will send all of the agents on our team an email when they get a new lead and it will round robin them automatically, which for me is worth the $25 a month just because of all of the time that it saves me. So um, if you haven't already signed up for Zap your account, um, when you put this together, it'll actually let you do, I think it's a free seven day trial for all of this. You can sign up for that and then once you're once the free trial's over, then you'll be charged the $25 a month. Um, so you can decide whether it's something you actually want. And then once Command rolls out its lead routing options, um, obviously you can cancel your um, Zapier account at that point because um, it is a month to month account. So once you've set up your Zapier, uh, log in and we're going to go to My Zaps. Um, so, well, actually, I guess you can start on the dashboard. You can click make a zap. However, I'm going to go to my zaps because I'm just going to walk you through what I've done um, rather than starting a whole new one. Um, you can see I've got a couple other zaps here. We're round robining some of the other leads that we get from Market Leader. Um, and then I've also set it up so that I get an email every time we get a new Facebook lead. Um, however, so this is, this is the one, the round robin Facebook lead. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here. Um, so with every zap, every step, you're going to have to choose the app that you want to um, run for this step. So in this case, it's Facebook lead ads. You just click on the drop down, start typing in Facebook, um, it'll come up. Um, and then we're going to trigger, it's going to be triggered every time there's a new lead. Um, you then have to choose your account. You do have to sync your Zapier account with your Facebook lead account. Um, however, it will prompt you to do all of that. You just fill in your information. Um, and it works for you. Um, you have to select the page that it's coming from. So here is our team page. And then you can also set the form that it's coming from. So if you have, if you had maybe a team set up in a couple of different areas, um, you could change it up based on what Facebook ad you're running. Say for this, um, for this particular ad, I want it to route to these agents. For a different ad, I want it to route to those agents. You just have to come in here and create that form. Um, and you can see here's some of the different ads that we've run. You would select which ad you want it to run. You just would then have to make sure you do that every time you set up a new ad. Um, we're just uh, sending our, our, we're round robining our leads to all of um, our agents for all of our different Facebook ads. So we're just doing the default any form. Then you'll come through and um, find data and it'll essentially just have you test it out to make sure that it can actually pull in the data from the Facebook lead, lead ads account. Um, you'll be able to just look at a drop down. It'll tell you what the information was um, and then you can see it, um, approve it, and then go on to clicking the plus sign to add your next um, step. So the next step is, it is um, through the app Storage by Zapier, um, which I believe I also had to set up the first time I did it. Um, it was really easy, that didn't cost any money. Um, it was just a matter of, you know, I think logging in or creating an account or something like that. So we're gonna use Storage for Zapier and it's gonna be an increment value. And this is what, is what will cause our round robin to actually round robin. So it'll give a number to the leads as they come in and it'll add one um, every time the next lead comes in. Um, it's gonna work out of our storage account, which again, I had to sync with um, my main, this main Zapier account. Um, it's going to be an index key and then the increment amount will be one, um, 
which the default is one, so I've just let that left that blank. And again, it's just you just have to test it. Um, it should be fine. Um, you're then gonna so then done editing. We're then gonna move on, and the next app we're actually going to use is a formatter by Zapier. Um, and the action event is going to be numbers. So um, it's going to be a spreadsheet style formula. Um, and then the formula is this mod. And what you would do is you would come in here, you'd select this um, drop down menu here. We're going to go back, what we're essentially going back is we're going back to our second Zapier fit um, step. In the increment value, we're going to find the index. We want the index. And then um, the comma. And then this number right here, this is very important. That number is how many people you will be round robining your leads to. So if it's four agents, put a four. If it's two agents, put a two. If it's 10 agents, put a 10. Um, however, that's the number of agents that you want it to route to. And if you're going to come in here and edit your round robin to add agents or uh, remove agents, this is one of the steps that you would come back and edit to change that number. Um, again, it's going to test it. The test was successful. Um, and I'm done editing this step. So step number four is utilities. So this is, again, formatter by Zapier. Um, in the drop down menu, that's the app. The action is going to be utilities. So last time it was numbers, now it's utilities. Um, we're going to customize utilities. We are going to pick from a list, um, use a custom value, and then the custom value is going to be the index from step three. So again, you would come in here, find step three, find the index, um, and so that index number will change um, going up by one each time that this runs. Um, then you're going to put in your inputs, and this is where you would put the email addresses of everyone who is going to receive these round robin leads. In our case, we had five, so there's five email addresses here. Um, we're then going to send the data, um, make sure that the test is successful, and it will actually, um, yeah, so the first time it runs, it, it's gonna, it should pull like the first name um, from your list. Um, so then, what we've set up it we've set it up to do is send an email through Gmail. Um, I would assume if you have other things set up like um, I haven't tried it, I would assume Twilio will also sync with Zapier. So if you already have a Twilio account, if you wanted, you could probably send a text to all of your agents. In which case, you would have put their phone numbers um, in the the previous um, step instead of their email addresses. Um, however, we're, we're doing email because it's free um, and we're trying to do this as cheaply as possible. So the app is Gmail. The action is going to be send an email. And again, I had to sync my um, Gmail account with Zapier as I was setting up this step. Um, you're not going to see that today because it's already been done. Um, however, that is just know that that is something you're going to have to do. Um, we're going to choose the account. In, in this case, it is my own um, email account, and then we're going to customize the email. So who it's to, and again, this is going to be the output of step four. So we went to, I went to step four, found the output, um, which is the email addresses. Um, I could CC this to myself. Um, in fact, maybe I should go back and do that rather than send myself a separate email on a different um, zap. However, that's not the way it's set up right now. It is going to come from me. Um, I did. That's an optional step. I did set that up because I don't want it to end up in spam. Um, so then the subject I set up is going to say Facebook lead, um, and then it is. I you have the option. You can drop down here, um, and using this, you can pull in all of the information that you're getting from Facebook to customize this email. So in this case, it is going to show up in our agents' inboxes, and it's going to say Facebook lead with the name of the lead. Um, and then I went ahead and added all of the information into the body. Um, you can see here that I have it set up for the, the ad. That is not something that is currently getting pulled in 
Um, so that comes through without any information, unfortunately, for our agents. So we have to let them know every time we start a new ad what property the ad is for um, so that when they get any leads, they know which property to contact those leads about. Um, and then the next step, and again, we'll test it. Um, I would say let the agents know you're doing this because otherwise they're going to, when it's tested, they will actually get a test email. Um, and so just let them know that that's coming. Let them know that's not a lead they have to follow up with. Um, and let them know to notify you once they have received it so you can confirm that your zap is working. Um, so then the last thing to do is make sure it is on, which is up here. Um, you can also go back to all of um, my zaps and you can turn them on and off here. So just make sure it's on. I don't think the default is on. I think the default is off, so make sure you turn it on. Um, and then give it a try the next time you have a bunch of Facebook leads coming in and uh, your agents will automatically get them. Um, the downsides to this are that the leads are not automatically shared with them in command. And um, I have to go into my sent emails to see who got what lead. However, still with the speed to the lead being necessary and a lot of this online lead generation and marketing, um, it's a lot better to get those emails out to them as soon as we receive the lead um, versus waiting until I can have a chance to check and see what we got in. Um, hopefully that's helpful. If anyone has any specific questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I am not a Zapier expert by any means. I've done just a very few things in it. Um, however, I am happy to help in any way that I can. Thanks.